hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to quickly show you how you can install the latest version of ros2 called created kaiju in linux ubuntu 24.04 so to install ros2 you have to go to your browser and in the search bar type install ros2 kilted kaiju and press enter here i have already made the video of how to install ros2 kilted kaiju on windows 11 so if you are interested in this video i will put the link in the description so you can go there and watch this video so to install the ros2 you have to go on this website docs.ros.org tilted installation just click here here you are seeing the documentation for the installation of ROS2 Kilted Kaiju. And you can install the ROS2 in two different ways, either by using the binary packages or by building it from source. And you can also install the ROS2 on different operating systems, which includes Ubuntu Linux, RHEL9, Windows 10, or 11. You can also install it for the Mac OS by using the method building from source. And now we have to decide which method of installation we have to choose. So the answer is here. The binary packages method are for general use and they provide an already built install of ROS2. And this is great for the people who want to dive in and start using ROS2 as is right away. And the method building from source is mostly meant for developers who are looking to alter or explicitly omit parts of the ROS2 base. It is also the recommended method for the platforms that don't support binaries. And building from source also gives you the option to install the absolute latest version of ROS2. And for us, we are going to install it by using the binary packages because we just want to use the ROS2 as is right away. We don't want to alter or omit the parts of the ROS2. And now we are going to install it for the Ubuntu operating system. Again, we have two different types of methods. We can install it by using the DEP packages, which is the recommended way, or by using the binary archive. Why we have to choose the DEP packages instead of the binary archive? The answer is again here. The Linux user have two options for installing through the binary packages. One is using the packages, which include DEPs or RPMS. And the other one is through the binary archive so why we have to install it from the packages because it is the recommended method and it helps us to install all the necessary dependencies automatically and it also updates alongside regular system updates however this method requires the root access in order to install it from the dev packages if you don't have the root access then you can choose the binary archive which is the next best choice so to install it you have to click here on the dev packages now we have to go through each step in order to complete the installation the first step is the resources if you want to know more about the ubuntu ros2 dev packages you can go through these resources the next step is the system setup first we have to set the locale if you don't know what locale is in linux the locale refers to the system's language region and character encoding settings which determine how applications display and format text numbers dates and times now for us we need the encodings utf8 in our system to check what type of encodings you have right now in your system you have to open your terminal and type locale and press enter I have already the utf8 encodings in my linux if you don't have these encodings you can also install it by using these commands so first we have to update our environment and we have to install the local so just copy it go back to your terminal and paste it here and press enter you have to give your password for the admin and press enter now it is updating the system and it has installed the locales and next we have to set some variables so just copy the commands from here copy go back to your terminal and paste it here and press enter now you have to move to the next command copy it from here go back to your terminal and paste it here press enter and now you have to export this language copy it from here go back to your terminal and paste it here now it will copy this variable inside this lang variable now after installing it you can again check your locale and see if you have utf8 encodings the next step is enable required repositories so first we need to add the ros2 app repository to our system so by this we are able to use the app command to download and install the ros in our system but first we also have to make ensure that the ubuntu universe repository is enabled so to do this you have to go there and copy the first command 
go into your terminal and paste it here and press enter and next you have to go to the next command to enable the universe repository just copy it from here go back to your terminal paste it here press enter and here it is saying press enter to continue or control c to cancel you have to press enter after this we have to go to the next step and the next step is first we have to again update our system and now we have to install the curl tool curl tool is actually useful to download the things from the website so to install this tool just copy this first command go back to your terminal and paste it here and press enter and next you have to set this variable ross app source version by using this command so just copy it from here and go back to your terminal and paste it here and press enter and after that we have to use the curl command to download and install the ROS2 so you have to go there and copy this command go back to your terminal and paste it here and press enter and next you have to go back and copy this next line go back to your terminal paste it here press enter now at this stage we have enabled all the required repositories in our system and the next step is install development tools and it is optional but we need it because we have to build the ROS packages and we have to also do development so we must have to install this ROS development tools so go there copy this command go back to your terminal paste it here and press enter do you want to continue yes press enter it will take few seconds to complete this process and the next step is install ROS2 now we have to install the ROS2 again we have to update our shell just copy it from here go back to your terminal and paste it here press enter now we have to do the upgrade because ROS2 packages are built on frequently update Ubuntu systems and it is also recommended that you ensure your system is up to date before installing these new packages so to upgrade your system you can copy this command from here go back to your terminal paste it here and press enter Enter. do you want to continue yes press enter and if you see this kind of window you have to click on yes so after upgrading your system the next you have two options to install the ROS2 one is the desktop install which is the recommended and other one is the ROS based install the difference is this if you install the desktop version you will also get the GUI tools graphical user interface tools which includes always demo tutorials and if you don't want these GUI tools you can install the ROS base so we are going to install the recommended one so just copy it go back to your terminal and paste it here press enter it will take few minutes to complete this installation so have some patience and make sure that you have enough memory in your system now at this stage we are done with the installation of the ROS2 and the next thing is install additional RMW implementations and it is optional because by default ROS2 has fast DDS if you want another RMW implementation you can go through the guide and install it from there but for now default is working very good and it's okay and the next thing is setup environment before using the ROS we must always have to set up the environment for each terminal session so to set up the environment you have to copy this command from here paste it here and press enter and the next thing is if you don't have bash in your shell you can use these options bash sh or zsh and in the last we are going to try some examples in order to verify that our installation is okay so first in one terminal we have to source the environment and then we are going to run the c++ docker node which is responsible for sending the messages so to source the environment you have to copy this line from here go back to your terminal and paste it here press enter and now we are going to run the c++ docker node you have to copy this command and go back to terminal and paste it here now ros2 run the cpp docker file so just press enter as you can see here it is publishing the messages and next we are going to run the python listener and next in another terminal we have to again source the setup because before using the ros command we must have to source our new terminals and then we are going to run the python listener node so copy this command again from here go back to your terminal now you have to open a new terminal and you have to paste this command here and press enter next you have to receive these messages by copying this command and paste it here and press enter and now you can see here it is start 
listening the messages and it is listening hello world 48 and if you go here and it is publishing the message here and in the last you have to notice one more thing here that we are sending the messages by using the c++ code and here we are receiving the message by using the python code so this verifies that both c++ and python apis are working properly so this is it for today if you want to learn more about ai and robotics you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new upload see you next time bye bye